Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy. Today I'm gonna to be kicking off a new video series that I am calling Small Printer, Big Print in which I take a small printer, in this case, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K, and I use it to create a much larger print that you would typically see on a bigger and more expensive 3D printer. And to do that, I'm going to be printing out the Iceman sculpture from Wicked. Now that sculpture is a pretty decent size, and in order to print that out on a smaller resin 3D printer like the Photon Mono 4K or Elegoo Mars or any other type of smaller resin 3D printer is going to require a lot, and I mean a lot, of individual builds. This sculpture is broken down into several different pieces, and I'm going to have to print them all out, usually one at a time, in order to stitch them all together in the end. And also pulling this off is going to require a lot of resin, but I am covered thanks to Ace Adity who has provided me with enough resin to make this build possible. And I looked over on their website and I chose two different color resins that I think is going to be sufficient for this build. Now the first one is going to be their Elite Series Clear Blue Resin. And as you can see, it comes in this bag, which is like a refill bag, but then they also sell the resin inside of larger containers. And it holds 1200 grams of resin, which is a little bit more than the standard one kilogram bottle that we usually get. And for the main base, I'm going to be using their Elite Series Gray Resin. Now, this is the first time that I've worked with transparent resin, the first time that I've worked with a colored transparent resin as well. So I'm going to put my settings up on the screen so that you can see what I was working with. And one of the other things that I do like about these bags is that they have these handles here. And I found it to be a little bit more reassuring when pouring the resin into the vat because I have something to hold on to and grip because sometimes bottles can get just a little bit slippery. And if you are interested in picking up this resin or any of the other resins that they have, because they do have different colors, especially for the clear resin, check the link down in the description. It'll take you over to their website so that you can check it out. This is only part one of this video series in which I'm going to be concentrating on Iceman's ramp. But in future videos in this series, I'm going to be focusing on individual main parts of the build, including Iceman himself, including the ice base and the main base. So there is a lot, and I mean a lot of printing to be done. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see the future episodes of this series while I work to make this large Iceman sculpture on this small resin 3D printer. But for now, let's go take a look at the progress of Iceman's ramp. So I'm working on the ramp part of the Iceman build now, and it's gonna take a lot of different individual prints in order to put the whole thing together using a printer this small. So I have this part of the ramp that's currently building right now, and I've got about a half hour left before that part is done. But let me show you the other pieces that I've already completed. So right now I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces already cured and washed for this Iceman build. Now these four parts are gonna be for the ramp. And then this part right here, this is part of the ice base because there's like two different bases. There's an ice base and then there's like a regular kind of a X-Men themed base that I'm gonna print in gray resin. But these are just for all of the blue parts. Now the thing with this is, I have these two pieces here and these two fit together. And this is just for a part of the ramp. So it gives you an idea of how large this is gonna be once it's complete, because there's still a lot more left to go. These are all hollowed out. And um, I really like hollowing out with this particular type of resin because I can see the inside of this and I can see the IPA moving around. And when it cures, because it's clear like this, that UV light blasts all the way through. So I am super confident that the inside walls of these pieces are fully cured. Now they do look like a little bit dull because that kind of just what happens with this type of resin once it's been washed in, in alcohol and then it's cured. But what I'm gonna do is once everything is kind of done, I'm gonna coat these with some of this uh, clear gloss spray paint just in order to kind of bring back that, that translucentness of it all. And I've already kind of experimented with it with a couple of these dye. So this is one dye that I printed out and then here's another one 
that I printed out here. Now, one of these was coated with the spray paint and one of them was just cured without even being washed at all. Which ones do you, which one do you think was cured and washed and spray painted versus one that was just cured directly off the build plate with no washing? So here's the answer. This one right here was not washed. It was just cured and it was cured for, I want to say like maybe like an hour. And I even had it outside for a couple of days as well. And it's still a little bit tacky. Honestly, I'm not even comfortable holding this with my hand, but this, this one right here, I washed and cleaned it like any other part. And I gave it two coats of that clear gloss spray paint. And while it doesn't look as shiny necessarily as this one does, because it's just coated with resin, it still looks pretty good, I think. And just because I'm a lot more comfortable handling this one, it's not sticky, it's not tacky, it's not anything, I am going to wash the remaining parts for this build, just like I would any other resin print. And I'm just gonna spray it with the clear gloss. And I'm not gonna do the thinly brushing resin over it and then curing it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go the spray paint route. All right, guys, so this is the ramp all printed out in individual pieces, and it required three, four, five, six, seven individual prints in order to get it to be this size, and 70% scale is the largest that I could get this build in the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K. So when everything is done, it's gonna be at 70% scale, which is still pretty darn big, as you can see from this ramp. And this is only one part of the build. So once I get everything else printed out, including the ice base and the main base, and I make sure that everything is gonna to go together okay, then I'm gonna hit these ice parts with a uh, gloss spray paint, and sort of bring back some of that shine and, and some of that iciness, if you will. But here's basically how it's going to look roughly once I put everything together. Iceman is going to be sitting or standing on top of this part, and I already have it just sort of laid out roughly to how it will be assembled. There we go. So get that piece in there. Get that piece in there and then this one kind of goes on this side this one goes on that side and these two pieces just sort of go together sort of like that and then you have these two pieces here in which this side will go like this and then the other side i can't reach it but you can kind of see how it's going to go up so Iceman is going to be on the dark blue parts and then he's just going to be riding a wave of blue ice. So yeah, that should be pretty fun. All of these pieces seem to be going together pretty good as well. So gluing them doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue at this point, but uh, that is yet to be seen. So I'm just gonna let this chill out right here on the table and in the second part of the video, I'm going to be printing out the ice base, which is also going to require, I think about seven more individual builds. And then I'm gonna get all that out on the table and we're gonna see how that looks together. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna see part two of the small printer big print series featuring Iceman and the ice base. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.